so even though I'm really nervous about doing a presentation and I feel tense and stiff when I think about it I deeply and completely accept myself and my feelings even though I feel really nervous when I think about doing a presentation even in this group but especially with other people I feel tense and stiff and that's just my truth I deeply and completely love and accept myself so even though I have all these nervous feelings and I'm worried that my breathing might be shallow I won't remember the techniques my voice might be shaky and I might be disappointed if I don't do as well as I'd hoped but I deeply and completely love and accept myself <sighs> feeling nervous feeling nervous really nervous between a six and a nine this nervous feeling really nervous about presenting about my voice and my breath what if I don't remember so many things to remember all those techniques where to put my tongue where to put my teeth <laughs> the glottal frog fog what if my voice shakes what if I can't control my breath what if I sound silly what if I can't remember and my head gets foggy and I'm lacking clarity oh, I'm so nervous about presenting so many things to remember my material all that content what if I forget in mid-sentence I just lose my mind and I forget what I'm saying I might be embarrassed what if I can't remember the breathing techniques and my voice quivers and I sound shaky and oh those knees <laughs> they start shaking and that's embarrassing I want my voice to be smooth I want my legs to be calm I want my head to be clear not shaky not quivering not forgetting so nervous so stiff and tense so we're just going to come back to the karate chop for a moment and just tap here as we let the energy settle and then just take a moment and check in and Ginger will ask you first and then I'll ask anyone else what you were aware of as we tapped whether anything feels seems to have shifted So when you put yourself Where in I that, say, I think now I'm not even just thinking about doing the presentation. Mm -hmm. I'm not as nervous, anticipating. Right. Good. How do you know that? What are you aware of again in your physical body? In I think physically, I'm much more relaxed just sitting. Um, mm -hmm. So I feel that I'm breathing easier. Just <clears throat> Like I said, I didn't feel that I was nervous, but I think I was a little bit more stiff. Right. So I think my shoulders are down, feeling that way. In my head, I think I'm just calmer mm -hmm. as far as thinking about it's not going to be as anxiety. 
Wrong right. So your thoughts have shifted a little bit to a little more positive. Your breath has changed. Your body has relaxed. And I love the point that you made that you didn't even realize, perhaps, that you were tense. Because often we don't until we do this. And then we go, huh, <laughs> I guess maybe I was a little more tense or more worried or more fearful or, or whatever it may have been. Yeah? What is the reasoning for when you're going through all the tapping that you're chanting like negative words instead of like, I don't know, for saying like relax or something? More Good like question. Because a lot of people say, why are we focusing on the negative? And um, I liken it to anybody painted a house, a wall, or whatever. You have to prep the wall first, right? If you try painting over the peeling or the mold or the old paint, chances are it's not going to stick. So literally what we're doing again is clearing out the old negative stuff because it's there. It's the truth. I am nervous. I do feel tense. My voice does quiver. Um, so we really want to clear that, collapse that, get to a place where, huh, I don't feel that anxiety as much anymore. I'm not getting triggered when I think, when I put myself in that position of now being in front of people, I don't have that same anxious, nervous, tense response. So we really want to make sure and clear up the old stuff before we move to the new stuff. And if we have time, we can do a round of moving into that. Because it's a really good question, and it's one many, many people ask. I'm just reinforcing the negative. I'm just reinforcing the negative. So thank you for asking that. We're just going to keep going with what just happened. So even though I'm still a little nervous, still a nervous. things have shifted. Things have shifted. My, mind My mind has gotten a little quieter. My body's relaxed a little bit. And my breathing is better. Mm, and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel more relaxed and I can feel it in my body, there's probably still a little nervousness there. So we'll keep tapping. And I deeply and completely accept myself and my feelings. So even though there's been some change for the good, there's probably still a little bit of nervousness there. Maybe a little more anxiety, a little more tension than I'm not aware of. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I'm feeling better, <clears throat> feeling quite a bit better. My breathing is easier and more fluid. My body's more relaxed. I didn't even realize how tense it was. And when I think about getting up in front of a group, I don't feel as nervous. Maybe I really can do this. <laughs> Maybe I am smart enough. Maybe I am capable enough. Maybe I am good enough to get in front of these people and share my knowledge with them and share my experience with them in a way that's interesting and captivating and fun. Maybe I can really do this. Maybe this isn't as scary as I thought. I know my stuff. I know myself. I know my story. And I know my content. I am an expert in this. And I can just bring that forward. I can just relax and remember what Kathy taught me about breathing and settling into my body and grounding myself and maybe doing some EFT. Maybe I really can do this. That's an exciting thought. Excitement and anticipation and having fun, having fun is a whole lot better, a whole lot better. than dread, dread and anxiety dread. and fear. And it could be as simple as tapping and remembering.
because when I tap, it makes it easier to remember. Because my brain settles down. When I'm worried or fearful and my amygdala kicks in, it changes the flow of blood away from my free prefrontal cortex and I can't access my information and my brilliance but when I tap and I calm down then I can get back in touch with everything that I know it's easier for me to access that information it's easier for me to remember everything Kathy taught me and to remember that I really am the expert and I can do this and I don't have to be perfect I can just be me the best me that I can and that'll be okay And once again, just noticing how that feels just with two rounds. We've, we've literally only done really two rounds. So does that help at all with your question yeah. about focusing? Yeah. So when you do it yourself, you can make that shift. You can go from the anxiety, the worry, the fear, and when that starts to shift, oh, something seems to be shifting here. Isn't that cool? That's really cool. And bring yourself, so, so it's from sort of the negative to some bridging place to a really, wow, I am really good at this. I know that I can really shine. And just really bring yourself through that um, continuum of negative to sort of some bridging language, well maybe it's really possible to, this is awesome, I know that I can do this, I trust myself, I'm confident, I'm capable, whew, I rock. <laughs> <laughs> so just in, in wrapping up, because it's probably that time, people so say, when do I do this? How do I do this? So here's what I say. If you go to the doctor, they'll give you a prescription, right? It might be as needed, or it may be two or three times a day. And that's what I prescribe for EFT. So the as needed is, if you're sitting at home and you're trying to put your talk together and you're procrastinating and you're going to water the plants and then you're going to check the mail or you're on Facebook and you just know you're not getting to what you're doing, even though I'm procrastinating and I'm really putting off writing this content or this outline, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. It'll help you focus and bring it back in. Even though I'm afraid, I'm not gonna know what to write, and I've got this perfectionist thing going on, I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna put some words down on the page and see how that flows. So just in the moment, in preparation, before your talk, whether it's a week before or whether it's 10 minutes before, as needed, if you're feeling that anxiety, if you're feeling that tight jaw, if all of a sudden your mind gets cloudy, Oh my God, even though I feel like I'm forgetting everything I know. I know that I know, and I trust myself and my feelings. So in the moment, as needed. The other is, you can do it in the morning and at night. When I had to stand up in front of the class and I didn't know the math problem, or when the captain of the football team told me my nose was big and I felt, any, anything that you can think of that may be stored in your system that makes it uncomfortable for you to get up in front of people, to step out, to be you. Tap on those things on a regular basis, on each of those experiences. Make it a tapping session in and of itself, and you may need to do it more than once. 